Well, before the new Twilight film comes out, you are going to want to want to, well, you're going to want to check out Memphis's own vampire movie. Indeed. Daylight Fades is produced by Old School Pictures, a group from right here in Memphis. You may remember they've been on the show a couple of times. Ryan Wyatt is executive producer of Daylight Fades, and Alan Gardner is, let's see, uh, <laughs> actor. Part producer, part writer, part actor, washes the dishes after right. the right, mm -hmm. <laughs> sweeps the set, everything go. <laughs> yeah. Which is sort of what everybody does on an independent film, you right? Everything, yeah. Tell us about Daylight Fades. Well, I mean, Daylight Fades uh, is a very character-driven uh, piece. Like, first and foremost, um, the vampirism just kind of helps to accentuate uh, some basic human problems. So really, it's the characters that are the most important thing. It's something we want to make sure is it's clear to uh, you know potential uh, viewers coming in. Um, yeah, it's not just a horror flick about vampires no, coming right. out it's of it. Yeah, it's a drama like just... horror elements. Right, right. But, uh, but yeah. I don't like to say this, but it's like the Twilight series, which is character driven. Right? <laughs> or should I but, say uh, that? Well, is that bad? Because you guys came up with this before uh, Twilight. Yeah, yeah. Right? We want to point out. Because, yeah, I started writing it five years ago, and I didn't hear of Twilight until uh, two years ago. Twilight and True Blood. I heard of those when we were like deep, deep into pre-production. So I was kind of peeved <laughs> about that at first, yeah. but then we know. Well, then you we, we kind of explained ours is a little darker and more realistic and kind of Twilight for more adults, I guess you would say. Right. Okay. It's, There's a lack of sparkling skin in our film. <laughs> I think it's really going to help to <laughs> set it apart. Good, then we, those of us who don't have sparkling skin can go exactly. and you watch it and not feel more. inferior. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So it's what is it about the vampire genre, that kind of supernatural, that has captured the attention of people? I don't know why it has recently. It's um, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when I first started writing it, I was like, I don't know if anyone wants to see a vampire movie right now, but I really didn't care because <laughs> it's a story I wanted to tell. And it just happened to involve vampires. And then the fact that it's blown up bigger than it ever has been yeah. in, in my lifetime, for sure. Um, yeah, it's a little insane. Yeah, we're not exactly sure why. We're just rolling with it. We were already making the movies. So. I know why. I'm just yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so you had a local premiere last week. What right. was the response here in Memphis to this? Oh, movie? it was really exciting. We, we sold out two shows at Paradiso um, before, you know, uh, ahead of time online yeah, for the day. Uh, mostly all through word of mouth, through Facebook and things like that. That's awesome. Uh, so we're here, kind of get the word out that we're going to be showing it in a few weeks. We're waiting to find out the exact day, so uh, people need to check our, our website daylightfades.com uh, to know exactly or your Facebook. When. Page, right? Because you have a friend. Yes, yeah, you'll, Twitter, it'll be on there. Yeah. And you online. have a whole week guaranteed at Malco. That's pretty huge. I was, yeah. 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 Is that we're right? Excited. Yeah, we don't know Am when I... it's going to be, the exact specifics, That's but okay. we just know it's coming up. <laughs> but so. a week in Malco in Memphis, I think, is a good thing. Oh, yeah, we're very excited. I think the new Twilight only gets half a week, so we can. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, they're fall, they're riding your coattails, Alan. That's I know. The whole I know. Thing. So they kind of irritate. <laughs> Padson called me up late at night, you know, asking for tips on how to play this thing out. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Like so, pets. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm going to yours. I'm not. I'm going to boycott theirs. In fact. Wow. Picket signs and yeah, everything. Yeah. Started absolutely. right I'm here. Boycott say, Twilight. Go to. <laughs> boycott Twilight. Go to Daylight Fade. I'm just the fill-in. I'm not <laughs> part of this. <laughs> I'm going to get called in on the carpet. <laughs> um, what, tell us about being independent filmmakers, though, because mm -hmm. for people, I mean, you both have day jobs. You work full time right. to pay the bills. Right. What is it about making a film that drives you to work an additional 10 to 12 hours a day, beat your head against the door, ask for funding in <laughs> yeah. an economy where nobody has any extra money? money. I mean, sure. right. You're making it sound like a really bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's just... Uh, kind of that feeling of how exciting it is once you finally get it done you have the yeah. opportunity to share it with people yeah. and uh, you know it's cool for us because Alan lives in LA but he came back in town and we shot the whole thing in Memphis it's over 40 locations it? all over Memphis how uh, long did it take you uh, it, it was a, a six and a half week shoot in January and February of 09 and then in September of 09 we did some additional shots yeah so Maybe it's been a long process for sure yeah for me it's just no. a lifelong obsession with storytelling that just drives me like Constantly, I don't know, I just kind of have to do it. So This doubles as a psychiatrist couch in case you need it. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what is it pressure. about shooting in Memphis, though? Because, you know, you no longer live here. Yeah, so I'm, from, I'm the, from Memphis. Right? And I, I tend to write in places that I know, and right. so Memphis or L.A. And Memphis just had 
the perfect like backdrop for this story. And I was so. going to ask, what makes Memphis a good place to set a, a vampire story? Set a vampire story? You know, yes. you got a lot of uh, the blues, a lot, a lot of, of gritty history. elements yeah. and just uh -huh. cool places to shoot. Uh, yeah. We shot a lot in the South Main area and the yeah. Cooper Young area. And Very just, visual old buildings. And just uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 This guy came through big time on a lot of the uh, locations and uh, the funding, everything. Well, basically, we just reached out to a lot of people and a lot of people helped us. So mm -hmm. that's why we're excited to share the film here in Memphis that's while awesome. we had the premiere of Memphis. This is so many people gave us locations or provided us props. I mean, you, you know, you name it. So once it hits Malco and it runs for a week, what happens then? I mean, are you working on a distribution deal? Well, How do you do that? That's where we are now. Now we've just, we literally finished the movie about a week before we showed it. <laughs> so uh, now we're sending it out to film festivals, distributors, and going from there. Our oh, local okay. premiere was um, presented by the Film Commission in Indie Memphis here. Okay. And now we're sending it out and seeing where we go from here. And so. maybe getting some buzz. Okay, yeah. all the more important to boycott. Well, that's, that's and right. in favor of daylight pay. There you come are. On. Let's Start support the hometown yeah, team. That's right. Let's no doubt about Robert that. has enough. And Kristen, <laughs> come on, she's a mess. Really. Sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't. I screen her calls. I don't even bother. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can go to bowl then. I'm working for you guys. <laughs> Thank okay. You. No, I'm it. doing the best Maybe I can. We need everyone to spread the, the word for movie us. That's yeah. If you'll let us know when you have Absolutely, that week, definitely. We'll we'll put it out there. Okay. No, that's great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Have Appreciate a good trip back to LA. Thank you very much.